weight mode. Weight mode. Time to talk about weight mode. What's good, my fellow peasants, how you all doing? So, weight mode got announced in Final Fantasy XV. Um, I'm going to give my opinion on it. I'll be honest, I've seen it. I'll admit, I've seen it. I've seen the discussion. I've seen the shitstorm it's created. Well, well it's not so much of a shitstorm. Um, basically, for anyone who doesn't know, in E3, at E3, they announced that Final Fantasy XV has a weight mode implemented. And long story short, it's as it, as it sounds, uh, it's a way to mid-combat pause the game. At the end of the game, it, it's a pause. It's a pause, let's face it. You get to pause the game, reassess the situation, um, and attack accordingly. Now, after they announced that, the chat, the comments, um, the internet, all blew up with conversations. It blew up with noob mode. Now, half, half were saying noob mode, easy mode, lame mode, you know, abusing people who were going to use it. You know, if you use it, you're... You're the shit of the earth, basically. You're the shit of the earth. Fuck you, noob. Uh, and the other half were people saying, that's great. Now, that's brilliant. I'm going to need that. Excellent. I'm going to use that. And anyone who said that would very quickly then get fucking abused. With, noob! Noob! You're a fucking noob! Um, now, I'm in two minds on this. I'm going to stop saying I'm in two minds on this. Um, I'm going to... Explain why, my take on it. Uh, I'm going to play the video for anyone who hasn't seen it as I talk. Peggy's Goofy 15. headset engaged. So I'm in two minds on it. On the one hand, I can see why people are reacting negatively. Because it is about 50 50 split, I'd say. Half a positive, half a negative. I can understand why. So people are reacting to it negatively, and I just want to start there. I'm going to start there first. At the end of the day, a weight mode does make the game easier. It really does, and by quite a margin. And the reason for that, you know, it's especially with action combat games. You know, with action combat games, the difficulty really does lie most of the time in the reactions, often you get balls deep in the fight, you'll get enemies attacking you from multiple angles, and you've really only got a second or two to react. Now, when you implement a weight mode in that, and I think it's going to show it pretty well, so really want to make, it's around about any time soon, when you implement a weight mode, where you could just pause the game at any given moment and reassess the situation like that. Even more so than a turn-based combat game where you could look over there. Pause the game for longer. Here it is. See that group of riflemen there? See that group of riflemen in there? Now, if you didn't have that weight mode, if you were balls deep in the fire, which often you are, you know, you've got motherfuckers hacking at you with axes and attacking you from all corners and you've got, you know, sort of the melee guys up in your fucking grill. A group of riflemen like that could go unnoticed very easily and in about two or three seconds flat, they're going to penetrate your asshole. Uh, or, you know, you, you're fighting this guy here and you suddenly see your health bar declining very quickly and, you know, normal circumstances you've got seconds to react but when you can just quickly hit pause, assess, you spot that rifleman, that squad of riflemen, and as he did that, he got the fuck off the lager and obliterated the whole squad. Now, you would have died if you didn't react quick enough to that in action combat game, so it does make it a lot easier. And then Final Fantasy XII had this exact same thing, exact same thing. I avoided using it did use it once. I'll admit, I used it once on a boss. Um, I think this video is going to end. I'll, I'll just keep replaying it as I speak. I'll just keep replaying it. I used it on a boss once. It was killing me um, for hours and hours and hours, and I broke. You know, I made the vow not to use it, but I broke. In a moment of weakness, I broke. I used it, and holy shit, I bum rushed the fuck out of that boss. It really does make it a lot easier when you can just, you know, any attack that the boss is doing, you can just pause it, assess what he's doing, and then 
act accordingly or any mobs he summoned it does make it a lot easier and I'll admit after I did that man I felt fucking cheap I felt like a prostitute I felt dirty I felt like I'd fucking cheated myself cheated the boss and it kind of for me took all sense of achievement and accomplishment out of it because I'd set myself to use that mode and I broke and my issue, and why I'm starting on this side, is uh, why I can kind of share some concerns on this side, is my concern is what it does for the image of the game. And what I mean by that is, let's come to the end. I'm just gonna, just gonna keep replaying it as I, as I speak. What I mean by that is, take you know, one of the things that's often discussed in Final Fantasy, where most Final Fantasy is things like, for example, who were the top 10 hardest bosses in Final Fantasy? Now, IGN will do an article on it, X will do a video on it, um, and sort of the harder ones always get perceived as the better ones. That's generally how it goes overall. Uh, but if you add a function like this, it kind of blurs that distinction. Um, it kind of blurs that distinction. You know, if half the people are using a weight mode, making the game considerably easier because it's such a subtle mode that and people often you know, fall into the temptation of using it they can't resist using it and they use it and it kind of waters down the overall image of the game and how difficult it was that, and what about how that what that does for the image of the game now, take final fantasy 5 for example if anyone's going to do a top 10 list of hardest bosses in final fantasy x death is going to make that list i'm pretty fucking sure that guy was an arsehole but X-Death was just X-Death. He was just X-Death for everyone. There wasn't Look over there. no difficulty mode. No, there wasn't any gimmicks. X-Death was just X-Death. We all had to fight him. We all had to kill him. Pretty much the same. So he was this diff difficult to everyone. When you add this, it waters that down. And I worry about the just a general perception of the game. Um, now on the other side, so I mean that that's about it. That's really about it. That's the only harm it can do uh, to someone because at the end of the day you've got a choice on whether or not to use this. And it's not going to hurt you. In any other way besides that point I kind of make. I mean, I mean that's still kind of a fucking main point. I realise that. I realise I've thrown that point in just to sound impartial. I mean it's still kind of late. I mean it's kind of valid but it's kind of that's the only way it's going to harm you, because you've got a fucking choice of whether or not to use it. Yeah, I know people harp on about that all the time, but it's fucking true. Yeah, and you know, it's not going to harm you that someone else isn't as good and they're going to use this mode. You know, because at the end of the day, guys, a lot of people aren't aren't that good at games. I know that's a fucking shocker. That might be a shocker to you, but guys, I can almost guarantee that anyone listening to my channel. Anyone of you guys listen to my channel, or anyone who's going to sit and watch a four hour fucking ATR at E3 is a pretty dedicated gamer. I think it's pretty safe to say that. Uh, you're gonna, I'm pretty, I can pretty much guarantee that anyone listening to me right now, I bet all of you spend at least 20 to 30 hours a week gaming. Probably more. And anyone who's going to go to E3 is going to play a lot more. So, I know. The likelihood that I'm talking to very competent gamers right now is pretty high. I'm not trying to suck your dick or blow your trumpet, mate. Calm down. It's only a first date. But I know that you're probably going to be a very good gamer. And you're probably going to be looking down on Or <laughs> some of you. And you're going to abuse anyone who's going to use an easy mode. But there's a lot. There's a lot of noobs there. It really is. There's a lot of noobs in the world. Um, you know, a lot of people who aren't going to be able to grasp this combat system. Especially Final Fantasy fans. Especially, especially considering this is a franchise that has taken its combat system down a new route and has typically always been turn-based combat. The fact that this is going down a new route, there's going to be a lot of people aren't going to grasp action combat at all. Should they not be afforded a way to be able to make it easier for themselves? 
I personally think they should. I personally think they should, you know. And at the end of the day, the way I see it is take. I mean, the only per, the only reason that you can be given the green light to fucking abuse it, and this is this is the point I want to make. You know, if you do, I saw this on um, Fun Facts of PS4. People like to do speed runs. People put a lot of work in and effort into speed runs. I think the speed run for FF7 was around about five hours. And the guy who had that, I mean, he had to fucking work hard for that, really hard. He had to mathematically calculate that game back to fucking front. And when they released FF7 on the PS4, within a week, there were motherfuckers on the internet boasting, boasting that they beat his speed run. That they'd beat that speed run and they'd done it in four hours. But what the motherfuckers failed to mention was that they'd used the god mode. Now, if you're one of those people, if you use you know, an easy mode or use a god mode and you know, beat a boss in X time or you know, start boasting how easy they are, then you're open to fucking abuse. Then you're fucking open to abuse. Then it's free game on your ass. Free game, I'll even join fucking hurling your abuse because you're a motherfucker but <laughs> unless you're one of those people uh, I don't think people should be getting abused for using an easier mode because like I said a lot of people aren't going to grasp the combat system for this especially Final Fantasy fans who aren't used to action uh, or action orientated combat system and the final thing I want to leave off on the final point I want to make the main redeeming feature as to why I'm too pissed off with this is with Final Fantasy 12 you could it was infinitely you could assess it infinitely um, you know, and that this is kind of how they sold it they kind of sold this at E3 the wait mode as a this is for you turn based combat fans and it you know it, it's not it's not I mean it kind of is it kind of isn't this wait mode I mean, Kind of is because yes, you do get to take a step back, you do get to assess it and plan your attack strategically as some people term best combat is. But beyond that, there's really sort of no no comparison, no connection. So beyond that, it's not really sort of any common compare to term based combat players. But I think I think that was just a bit of a spin really. But what made this a redeeming feature for me or how they handled it better than Final Fantasy XII had it, where you could really pause it and assess it infinitely, is that they announced that there's a limit on it. There's a limit on it. And it's a very important distinction. You can only pause for so many seconds, I believe, or you can only pause so many times. I can't remember what it is. It's one or the other. Either duration or the amount of time you can actually pause. I think it's there. I think you've got that bar that blue bar. Now, I don't think it goes that slow the entire time. I think that takes a certain amount of time to recharge. So, you know, yeah. It takes a certain amount of recharge. So you've only got so long you can wait. And that's a very important distinction. Because I might find Fantasy 12 where you can really pause infinitely and assess the situation infinitely. That tidies it up a bit better. It gives the people who struggle a bit of time to take a step back, assess the situation, but not so much that it's ridiculous. So that was a bit of a redeeming feature, in my opinion. That's my take on the weight mode situation. Oh shit, that fucking shotgun. <laughs> that, that shotgun that... Jesus, fucking dope. That's my take on it, at least. Let me know what you think. And while you're at it, let me know what you think about my fucking wall mount. Check that out. Look at that. Fucking beautiful, ain't it? Let me know, guys. Until the next video. Goodbye.